progetto che è un progetto di un gruppo di ragazzi che ha costruito un network internazionale davvero incredibile, lo sono gli Open Biomedical Baby On Board. Tutti insieme? Sempre 5 minuti sono, eh, non 5 okay. per 1. <ride> Prego. Però il microfono è solo te. Sì. Perfetto, vai. Okay. Posso è questo. Scusami. Hello to all. I'm Valentino Megale, member from the Open Biomedical Initiative. So what is the Open Biomedical Initiative? It's uh, a no-profit organization made of volunteers from everywhere in the world uh, that are working to develop supports and technologies to help people in needs everywhere. Integrating three elements. So we integrate the internet and uh, uh, the, the possibility to collaborate from everywhere, thanks to internet, and the accessibility. We integrate 3D printing and the delocalization of design, development, and, uh, um, and the realization and production of a project. And we integrate open innovation. That's to say, uh, that's to say the possibility that everyone can contribute to the project from everywhere without limits. So what is the aim of the Open Biomedical Initiative? It's to help people, it's to uh, make a contact, it's to connect people in need with people that can help those people in need. And what is the world when we are working in? Is this. We work in this world a world made of uh, social, economical, political divisions, borders. There are a lot of borders, but there is a thing that is called technology, that is made by humans, that uh, makes us able to, uh, go, to go beyond these borders. And in this world, this world we are living in, everyone, we see that the 85% of child mortality, of child mortality, is due to two factors. This is to say that in emerging country, where this is a great problem, uh, mm, newborn babies, premature babies, or ha have, a, uh, have a big problem, this is to say that incubators that can save their life are really, really expensive. They cost a lot, or they are not. Because there is the possibility that uh, they never see an incubator. They never see an opportunity to survive their, to their condition. So this is a great problem. This is a great problem that um, influences our future, the future of, of every one of us. And so, that's because we have the mission of the Open Biomedical Initiative, that's to say, to help people. We decided to realize a project using the basics of our, of our community. We realized BOP. This, this project, it's a project that is completely 3D printed, so it can be 3D printed everywhere, okay? It's uh, made of uh, low-cost, let's to say, available, accessible electronics everywhere. And this is the first 3D printed incubator in the world. What, uh, Bob, is, is an opportunity to save the life of children, of premature children, because it maintains uh, the same humidity, the same temperature conditions inside and uh, this gives an opportunity to, to save the life of children from everywhere in the world, because everyone can contribute to this. How, how can you get Bob? How can you realize both? You simply can uh, go to our site, go to our page, go to the page of Bob Project, and you can go just clicking a button, download, you can download all the project, and you can, having a 3D printer, you can realize it. In realizing a Bob, 
you can help many lives. You can help many children lives. And you can help you, you can help to save a lot of futures. So when technology saves the future, it's not only an extension of man. I think it's also uh, a concretization of an instinct. Let's just say hope. And this is the team that realized that this hope. Bob. Neil. Hello. Two related questions. Yes. Um, one is there have been many uh, incubator projects that can be locally produced. How does this relate to all the other incubator projects? Mm -hmm. And then the second question is that's a box with flat sides. Why is 3D printing important? Mm. A 3D mm -hmm. printing gives you geometrical complexity. That's a, a box. Why do you need to 3D print it? So those are two related questions. Responder a la prima. Uh, for, for the second, I, I, be, I start from the second question. Uh, why to use 3D printing to make a box? It's not only a box, but it's a box with particular conditions inside, in particular conditions outside. So this is a box made of particular material, and you can choose also the material using 3D printing. You can customize the material and the box using 3D printing to every conditions, to every need. So the personalization is the first element. The, uh, the low cost is because it costs really, really little. It's, uh, the, the cost of uh, its realization is about uh, 1,000 euro. It's, it's really accessible for people, 1,000 euro for an incubator. And the possibility to send this box only by email. <laughs> because yeah, this box. You download it. Yes, you download. You don't need so uh, before printing it, it's a file. It's a file that every one of you can have on a PC. So in Africa, where the transport is really difficult, you can send it by mail and realize right, it on the place. I, I've seen, seen incubator projects that you mail but are made by folding tents. And I've seen ones with tensegrity structures. And there's a lot of ways to send a structure you can locally produce. Mm. So again, come to the first question, how this relates to the other incubator projects. Um, come er, ehm, che relazione c'è con gli altri incubatori? Con gli altri progetti simili che con ci altri stanno progetti simili. Cioè. <laughs> It's made... Però aspetta, aspetta, eh, scusami. aspetta, vai. Scusate, non è una cosa... Vai. Fa le stesse cose, soltanto sì. che questa può essere realizzata grazie alla stampante 3D, quindi produzione delocalizzata. Siamo qui in Italia, inviamo per esempio il file in Africa e in India, hanno una stampante 3D, la possono realizzare. Perfetto. Le quindi elettroniche facilmente... Quindi è sempre la stessa feature, ma la differenza è il modo di fare. È l'approccio. Sì, è l'approccio. La differenza è l'approccio. Ok, Bruce, Simona, hai altre domande? Sì, ma non ho capito bene la tua risposta rispetto al perché non usare una... una tagliarla al laser. No, Anch'io non ho... Al di là della scatolina, qual è la parte 3D che è proprio fondamentale? E secondo mm. i materiali, nel senso... Mm -hmm. pensando a situazioni povere, diciamo, i materiali vengono inviati o li pensate disponibili questo tipo di materiali? Aspetta, di nuovo, c'è un altro microfono, io per, stiamo per, per fidanzarci oggi a lui da sedere. Dai, dimmi. I materiali sono eh. reperibili ovunque, è plexiglass, quindi eh, è, sono facilmente trasportabili e reperibili. Perché stampati in 3D? La struttura è abbastanza complessa per essere lavorata o a laser o con macchine GNC. Perfetto. E quindi la stampa 3D ti aiuta anche in questo. Mm -hmm, Perfetto. Bruce? Any questions? For you? Yeah, one. Um, if your sister was at a maternity hospital mm -hmm. and she had a standard Italian incubator, mm -hmm. would you take this unit in there and say, use mine? It's not made for this place because um, in certain limits, in certain limits, it's, uh, it uh, gives the opportunity to uh, support the life of children. But uh, in, in places just like Italy or, uh, or Europe, general Europe, there are projects, there are commercial projects, medical projects that are not related to this one. This one is a hub where there are no incubators, any incubators, Sorry. where children survive in a box made of wood, Sorry. maybe, with just a sure. little lamp near to warm the place. Sorry. This is a, a little elevation of technology, but, but to support So the Bruce, the it's, be it's better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it's better it's than nothing. It's better than nothing, but yeah. you're saying you wouldn't particularly trust it. 
Tu, tu ti affideresti se avessi un bambino a metterlo là dentro? To support his life? Yes. Yeah, to maintain, your, to maintain those conditions. Child. Excuse me? If, if his life depends only on humidity and temperature, yes. If his life depends on other conditions that this cannot provide, no. Okay. okay. Ottimo. Grazie ragazzi. Bocca al lupo. Okay.